What's up guys, it's your boy Houston Rocket, the Texas Raw Guy, back with another review. Today I have the Mr. Wax Box, as well as the Mr. Light. Now, I am not going to be doing an unboxing, I've already opened them, I've already been using them for a little bit. Uh, basically, just going to go ahead and give you guys a good in-depth review. I want to start off with the light, it's a little bit more simple, and it's a cart battery. I don't want to say it's just a cart battery, because when you see... What I'm talking about, you're going to see that it is definitely more than just a cart battery. Also, I don't have a regular vape cart in here. Um, I, I wasn't able to get one in time to do the review on time. And I wanted to try to stay consistent with these reviews. I've been doing pretty well so far, guys, with keeping a consistent flow. But I did have an atomizer that you know I could load a dab in. So I went ahead and loaded that up in here. Sort of uses a similar magnetic connection as most uh, cart batteries that just have a slot. Also, guys, if you happen to hear some background noise, don't mind. It's just my wild, crazy kitty. Miss Chrissy. She's on a, you know, her evening prowl and stuff. Uh, I do think I already have something loaded up in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a double tap to warm it up. Now, one of the cool things that I really like about this is the fact that you are able to actually vape from it with the device closed. So after we got it good and warmed up here, go ahead and little blinker for you. Didn't think nothing was going to come out, did you? So yeah, it's a nice little nifty different style device. Um, um, the sleek finish, I was hoping it would be a little bit more like the silver that the wax box came in. But, you know, they're very stylish. They definitely do come uh, in some unique styles. The colors are uh, that are available, I think, are all sleek like this, like the sheen. The sheen. Um, Mister's very, you know, badass with how they design their products though as well. So everything has a nice little touch to it. Um, I, the, the lighter cover, so forgive me guys, I accidentally did not realize in my fucking retard strength, I just fucking tore it off by trying to pull it off on accident. I, I set it somewhere on my table, but this does actually have a little protective cover. And so that, that way you don't accidentally press the button and burn yourself. Um, but this is the coil lighter. And so that's for, you know, you can light joints or you can maybe drop a glob on there and just fucking... You know, I mean, it's it, it's your device. It's your device. You can do a lot of things with it, you know, but we'll leave it at that. It's your device. Like most vape cart batteries, this does have the interval voltage, uh, interval voltage that you can change the settings from. Three clicks is going to change your voltage settings and that's most batteries that have the universal click system five clicks to turn it on and off one two three four five so as you can see there now it is off it will not work even the lighter one two three four five now it's back on lighter hey guys calm down I'm filming a review y'all are acting ridiculous sorry guys so yeah this is the the mr. light pretty simple but also pretty stylish unique unique way to keep a cart battery also if you want to vape a little bit more discreetly you know it does have that option to you know hit it from the mouthpiece and uh, keep it a little bit more
keep it a little bit more discreet. You know, that's all it is. They don't, they're not going to know right off the bat what you're puffing on. And they have to open it up. It is USC, uh, BC rechargeable, which it does include an extra little cable for you to be able to charge that with. I was hoping, man, this is the thing that I'm going to say. Uh, it's not really a disappointment, right? It was a little kid thing in my mind that I was hoping I'd be able to do, but I ended up not, not exactly being able to do. So if anybody's familiar, because this does kind of have that similar hinge as the Zippo, um, if you're familiar, zip, there's little tricks that you can do with the Zippo where you can kind of like get the thing to flip open. And man, I was hoping that this would be hinged in a way that you would be able to do that. I think they did it more for safety though, because I'm a dumbass and I wouldn't think about safety. I would just think about the cool, let me try to do the Zippo thing, you know. But th I think they were thinking about safety because it, it does take a little bit to open the lid. It's not... Uh, you can, with a good strong thumb, ladies, you can give it a flick open. It's not super hard to operate with one hand, you know, especially if you know what you're doing, ladies. And, uh, yeah, just give it a flick, ladies. So that is the Mr. Light L-Y-G-H-T. And I picked this up. Um, it was actually discounted because I grabbed some extra coils for the wax box. A three pack of the coils for the wax box was like 20 something after the discount. And this was originally 30 something, but then got knocked down uh, to like 15 after the discount. So. Definitely check them out. They do some pretty cool discounts and offer some pretty good savings. Um, you know, I had I had got an email through their marketing channels and shout out Nick, whoever that is. Uh, I've kind of played their own game. I, I sent them an email back with my little pitch and just kind of shared a little bit about myself. And so Nick was cool enough to go ahead and send me uh, this device right here, which is the wax box. Now this right here, guys, I was really, really impressed with because while it looks like a tiny device, nothing maybe to be, you know, don't get too shocked now or don't be, yeah, obviously it's, it's a small device. It's not, it's not nothing crazy wow, but it's impressive and I'll show you why. So it has a magnetic top, which you know, that's not super impressive, but that's nice. It's got a nice, you know, feel to that. Uh, one of the other things that I thought was pretty nifty, and this isn't, you know, not super impressive, but just pretty kind of fucking nifty that they would think of this, but, you know, there is a dab tool. There's a little tool for you to go ahead and use your material, scrape it into the chamber, and the chambers do come out. They are not 510, I just want to let you know. These are a proprietary thread uh, specific to this device or maybe a specific size that is universal and I just don't know, but it is not 510. I just want you to be aware that you cannot use the vape cart with this. Um, this is designed specifically for these chambers, which these are quartz and they are the uh, mesh quartz coils they're 1.2 ohm to 0.1 ohm resistance with a voltage range of 3.2 to 3.8 volts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, once you have your material loaded, this device operates two different ways. It has the high, medium, and low for the voltage settings, which you only have to press one time to cycle through those. You don't have to press three times. And as you can see, there's a little rocket ship that kind of indicates how powerful your blast off is going to be. Which I, you know, being Houston Rocket, I just think that's pretty cool myself. So once you have your material loaded and you have your setting figured out that you're going to load, now it's time to decide how you're going to partake. As I stated, there's a few different ways you can. You can definitely go ahead and just rip it off the bat pressing your button make sure your material is absorbed into the coil the the mesh quartz coils are made to absorb the material and then you
vape it like so. Now, that wasn't where the device impressed me. Because, obviously, you know, it's not nothing crazy. It, but the fact that this is a dedicated dab device and they were thorough enough to include all of that, that alone did impress me. I was like, man, that's... Literally, I can grab this and a jar of some dab. Shout out Rave Exotic. If you're not familiar, definitely try them out. Uh, and probably a you know, like a hot knife. You know, I, I could definitely use this little tool. Uh, but me personally, you're probably going to grab something like a hot knife or a blade. Uh, and then, you know, you could, you're free to travel. You just dab and vape and go about your business. But one of the cool things... Oh, I forgot. Damn, I forgot to grab my fucking rig. Not a big deal, though. So, anyways. Uh, one of the things that makes this a little bit unique in comparison to devices like this. I, I got to looking. USB-C uh, rechargeable. But you notice this little, this little slide right here? I got the looking ar looking around at that, and I'm I'm noticing like, hmm, what's this what's this little slidey thing do? And it's like, what what's that for? And I'm I'm you know as I'm discovering that my my new wax box vape device has a butthole, uh, and I start kind of being naughty with it because I'm a pervert. Um, I start trying to figure out well what the hell is this for? And uh, I get to looking in the box. And of course, you know, they send extra coils, stuff like that. But they also send some accessories. You know, this this one was interesting. It's like some Q-tips, right? Like some very uh, convenient on-the-go Q-tips that are individually wrapped. And then, you know, we got another charging cable, of course. But uh, this one, one unique piece... And I, you know, I had to grab the rig for this, so maybe it might have uh, kind of already popped into your head what I'm doing here. But surprisingly, the butthole on my device is opening for a 10 millimeter or 14 millimeter glass joint. And so you slide this in here and you do, it has like a locking mechanism. So you slide it in and it rotates and it's locked in there right now check this shit out i got my little custom sake bottle shout out mike c glass co he's currently rocking with bear mountain studios doing their paw encasements and their color prep but i before shortly before then uh he did this badass custom sake this is uh some north star cherry and then i got a texas opal encased accent on the back and man this is a nice little turp cannon but i'm gonna go ahead and load this like this and just double click this like this. And then I'm going to rip that like that. One more time. I just, oh man. Yeah, I'm sorry. A Puffco Plus could never. Get that dab cap out of here. Bruh. Literally, when the homies find out that you're walking around with a device that not only has it got a little sexy butthole, but you could plug a fucking glass joint into that sexy butthole, and then all of a sudden, you just created a fucking on-the-go e-rig to pop into the fucking heady. Come on, man. If you want, you can even just press the button and hold it down. You don't got to double click. Too easy. Too easy. That right there 
made this a game changer. I just... I was, I was a little speechless. I was a little speechless. The fact that I can go, I'm, you know, man, I'm busting licks on my own vape. I'm puffing. I'm minding my biz. I'm out on the block. I'm in the, I'm in the cut. I'm out in the woods. I'm down by the lake. I'm whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like this, literally, I'm whatever. But then two, you're on the go. And you meet some badass new homies, and they're like, "Yo, what you got there? You, I, I smell the turps. What you blazing?" And you hit them with the man. You, you got some glass. You got a, you got a rig. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me bust out my piece. Oh look, just, just bust out the piece. Let me see it real quick. I'm gonna hit you with the. I'm gonna let you try with them. Just go on ahead and try that, homie. Blow E Rig in the fucking homie in the new homie face with his ooh, bro. The amount of audacity that they had when they like it's a very very simple thing to be like, hey, let's. Is there a way we could put a glass joint on an E Rig portable dab device? I don't know. We should look into it. Who the fuck ever thought of that? On the fucking lips, man. On the fucking lips. Like, this right here will be talked about in history. The combination of a portable electronic device and being able to just pop this little motherfucking n n right there and then blip blip into the and blip blow. Yo forget about it it's over with it's over with this won the game this won the game now when it comes to like obviously i didn't get this with the intention of using it for uh like the little dab cart that i put in there that that was what i have for the demonstration for you this is definitely more intended to be used with preloaded vape cartridges right like the little distillate cards or you know whatever i i make my own blend for myself and there are a nice little ratio of different cannabinoids that help hey that help me but this is intended for dabbing right it's intended for dabbing the fact that they took it just a simple just a simple notch further that type of ingenuity right there, man, that does not exist everywhere. Pu a Puffco Plus could never. You hear me, Jolly Roger? A Puffco Plus could never. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm trying to trying to kind of do, you know, some different. I, obviously, it's not going to be too crazy different. And when I say different, I'm not talking about doing nothing like, oh, spectacular. But I'm trying to do my different of the way that I would present this to you guys. Because I feel as though I have a unique perspective that's not been shared. And I want to share it with you guys when it comes to this cannabis stuff. There's a lot of, there's a lot. And it's hard to digest. It's hard to take in. Especially when you got these influencers who are out here pretending to be your friend. You know, they're out here acting like they're just giving you all this God's honest information. And they're not being transparent. They're not telling you that like a third of the companies that they're reviewing for have already sent them the product for free and are paying them. Um, you know, they're not telling you that a third of these companies that they're working with are actually like paying their bills or something like that or they they work out some wacky deals man and i'm i'm saying this from the perspective of somebody who's going through it and learning it but i'm also being transparent about it so that you guys can see some of the fuckery that gets used to take advantage of people and that's that's what we're trying to avoid you know mr high end at the end of the name that's that's what is what it is high end they do quality products they do things that are unique and cannabis thrived and 
uh, man, I just have some good vibes about this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank everybody who has subscribed for the love and support. Let me know the feedback in the comments below. Peace and much love. Y'all have a dope ass day.